Painted Pieces Art and Design Studio in Huntington specializes in bringing beauty to some unexpected places. Over the years, they've painted everything from bagel shops, to restaurants, to children's bedrooms, and just about everything in between. And Sally Barish, who founded the company 25 years ago, has always had a knack for making the ordinary look special. The very first piece that I painted um, was painted ribbons on my daughter's hot pink sweatsuit. And I painted these ribbons all down the leg. Um, and then on the arms, I took actual ribbons and with grommets put real ribbons in. So the legs had painting and the arms had real ribbon to look like the, the leg. I then went into a store and said I paint sweatsuits, but I have a minimum order. And my minimum order was two dozen and they liked them and they took two dozen sweatsuits. Today, Sally's done work for thousands of clients and oversees an entire staff of talented artists and designers. And when you ask her how she's done it for so many years, the answer is simple. Somebody told me a very long time ago that you should always have smart people around you. So I found a whole bunch of smart people. On the day I visited, the team was working on a series of murals for a nursing home in Queens. We, um, given notes and very rough thumbnails from uh, the people, uh, from the client, and then we take the, uh, we take that and, and we do sketches. And you know, sometimes a sketch might need to be revised once or twice. And then from there, we take the sketch and we tra you know, transfer it onto a board and uh, paint it. And then it gets framed and, and they get hung. I don't think 30 years ago I thought about working. I was bringing up a family. Um, I didn't need to work a long time ago. So it was just kind of a hobby that grew. In the story, instead of it being pharmacy items in the background. And while that I, hobby has now grown into a successful business, the basic goal remains the same. I'm trying to make things look pretty. You know, I, I can give somebody a gift and it's not always what the gift is. It's presentation. It's how something's wrapped, how something's look, how something looks. So I feel in a certain way I'm giving beauty. You know, I'm just making something look really pretty. When I drive certainly around Long Island or Manhattan or whatever, and I see some of the things that we've done, and I say, wow, look at that window. It doesn't have, it looks like it's open even if the store is closed. So I just think um, it, it was a vision. It was just a vision. A vision that started with a mom painting her daughter's sweatpants and has now grown into a full-fledged art and design um, service. For computer graphics to go on their window rather than painting the image. Okay. You might be here till tomorrow morning. <laughs> I try to incorporate the logo um, into making you know a business card, into making an awning, into hopefully making a website, um, and incorporate that into an entire package. Um, that makes the client, you know, um, extremely happy, and that's what they should be. This job is going to happen on Monday or Tuesday, and actually it's going to get done after. Somebody once said to me, you know, how would you um, describe how you've grown? And my real comment is follow your dreams, because if you follow what you like to do, it just happens. Uh, you know, you just keep going. And, and that's been a real good thing for me. Um, I'm not a quitter and I just keep going. <laughs>